Billy, you so crazy. Yo, what's cracking? What's bracking? It's your boy. Billy, you so crazy. And we back, and we back, and we back, and we back with another one. Y'all read the title, Shard. You know what I'm doing? This is what new Border Patrol recruits go through at boot camp. This was also uploaded by Business Insider. Shout out to Business Insider for giving us some insiders insiders on what happens at these boot camps because i had no idea i still had no idea so this is a first for me but you guys let me know if you have anyone that you know that is a border patrol officer or that's going through it currently or if you plan on becoming a border patrol officer let me know like i'm curious you know what i'm saying this is new for me um for those that are new to this channel this is my veteran react series i am a u.s army veteran so you know what i'm saying the more knowledge that i get on other things that i had no clue about the better especially for this channel since i guess you can consider it educational and you guys get to see me react to the stuff that y'all want to see me react to if you are new to this channel please hit that subscribe button please be a part of the so crazy family comment down below what you want to see me react to next follow me on all my social media links are right there send me a message on any one of those and i will get back to you as soon as possible all right just give me some time i do have a patreon link in the description so feel free if you want to donate help the channel out no pressure though that's only if you want to but enough talking y'all let's find out what these new recruits for the border patrol what they go through this is pretty new this is 2019 what the fudge? <laughs> this is Border Patrol Boot Camp. Before they served in the United States Border Patrol, all trainees have to graduate from the Border Patrol Academy's six month basic training program. Woo! From day one, our goal is to make sure that they are prepared to handle anything that they may encounter in the field, no matter what obstacle is thrown at them. Oh my God. On a hot week in April, amid an intensifying border crisis, we spent four days inside the academy, allowing us New to Mexico. observe different classes at various stages of the six month training program. And to find out if I know it was hot out there adequately preparing these future border patrol agents for what awaits them in the field during our visit to the Academy in April most of the training that we saw focused on law enforcement scenarios like this one I'd consolidate him over here if I had to. The Border Patrol is a law enforcement agency, but are these future agents getting the training they need for the humanitarian crisis at the border? Where record numbers of migrants, many of them children, cross the border to seek asylum in the United States. The nation's top border official says the migrant crisis has reached a breaking point. They're coming in record numbers. At least five migrant children have died in government custody Aww. since September. As families come here to claim asylum, fleeing violence and poverty so in the sad. northern triangle countries of Central America. After being initially screened at the border, migrants seeking asylum in the U.S. are held in detention centers. Ah. Many of these centers are operated by the Border Patrol in conjunction with other government agencies, and their conditions have become the object of intense scrutiny. Yeah. The feds have now moved nearly 300 migrant children out of a Border Patrol facility near El Paso after reports of horrendous conditions. In June of 2019, a team of attorneys who visited a Border Patrol-run detention center in Clint, Texas, told the Associated Press that 250 children had been detained for over three weeks without adequate food. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't for all that. You know what I'm saying? Out here doing these kids wrong. I ain't for all that. Water and sanitation. Outbreaks of scabies, shingles, Come and chickenpox were spreading among That's the not even cool. children. Days after the news about the Clint facility broke, acting U.S. Customs and Border Protection Commissioner John Sanders tendered his resignation. In that last facility, I was not safe. 
A group of lawmakers visited the facility, including Democratic Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who compared the conditions of the detention centers to concentration camps. Although okay, the that's what it looked like. is tasked with operating detention centers, we didn't see any training during our visit to the academy. Ustedes por estos permisos? Aside from learning to communicate in Spanish, I was, like, was what did specifically he just say? focused on working in the centers. In a statement to Business Insider, a Customs and Border Protection spokesperson said that the Border Patrol Academy does not conduct training related to detention officer duties, adding that once a trainee graduates, and arrives at their station, it becomes the duty and responsibility of their station to further train the new agent on local policies Sound like and a cool procedures. Cop out, low key. When I asked hold you. if the academy had any future plans to change its training based on the reports about the detention centers, the CBP spokesperson offered no indication that any such plans exist. So what kind of training do Border Patrol agents get at the academy? And how did we get here in the first place? The Border Patrol was established in 1924 with two stations at the U.S.-Mexico border in El Paso, Texas and near the Canadian border in Detroit. Its main objective? Combating bootleggers smuggling liquor during Prohibition. Whenever illegal hooch or beer was discovered by the feds, it met the same fate. Crack open the kegs and let the contents flow down the drain. And it was a very bloody time. We lost over 31 officers during that time period. There were times when there were shootouts two or three times a day for a whole month. We Woo! still like to remember that once two upon a time, a day? Texas had its own president. When Thanks. we built our capital at Austin, we built it big, like the one at Washington. Texas begins where Mexico leaves off. And nowadays, along the whole thousand miles of frontier, the border patrol's on the job, day and night. In the 1950s, the number of migrants crossing from Mexico spiked. And the Eisenhower administration responded with an initiative officially known as Operation Wetback. Ooh. Named after a racist slur used to describe Mexican migrants. That word is heavy. Over one million people were deported and Border Patrol enforcement activities plummeted. That word is so heavy. That is, until the 70s. Amid the flow of illegal drugs from Mexico, the number of deportations skyrocketed to the highest levels in decades. Okay, units, let's shut it off. Same positions. Nah, there's enough to keep us busy for a while. Since then, illegal crossings have increased, and the Border Patrol has continued to be scrutinized for allegations of mistreatment toward migrants. The U.S. Customs and Border Protection has launched an investigation into a secret Facebook group where thousands of Border Patrol agents posted sexist memes and joked about migrant deaths. According to ProPublica, the group has about 9,500 members. We take all of the posts that were put out today um, very seriously. These do not represent the thoughts of the men and women of the U.S. Border Patrol. I'm steerable, baby! Oh my gosh. So who joins even, the border patrol? Even a border patrol does cadence. Oh my gosh. It's just a bunch of cheerleading while you're walking. At least that's the way that I view it now. I, I don't know. When I was in basic and AIT, I used to love to sing cadence and while we was marching, running. Like that used to pump me up. Then after a while, I realized I'm like, we just a bunch of. We, we, we really just a bunch of cheerleaders. We got on our Daisy Dukes, small little teeth. Because, well, I can only speak for the Army. I think the Navy, y'all have some real short. The Marines have some short shorts too, right? I think I don't know. I, I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I know for a fact RPT shorts, boy, it, there was no way that it was going ever past your knee. Like that joker, it was just up on your thigh. Sometimes you, you I don't know. It, you know, like I said, my my thing with cadence is I'm just not a fan of it. Today, about 19,000 men and women actively serve in the Border Patrol. Only 5% of the agency is female. 35! The biggest gender gap of any agency in the federal government. For real, government. cause it's not like that in the uh, secret service. More than half of the 19,000 active Border Patrol agents are Hispanic. A lot of our agents who are Hispanic grew up on the southwest border, so they grew up around Border Patrol agents. We are honored that over half of the Border Patrol agents are a minority serve yes. as the majority in the Border Patrol. They want to protect and serve the communities where they grew up and where they're from. And that's the way that you so stop misconduct. How are Border Patrol agents prepared for the field? 
basic or continue training it. I don't know. happens here at the Border Patrol Academy in Artesia, New Mexico, about 200 miles from the U.S.-Mexico border. Artesia. Artesia is known for three major exports, refined oil, pecans, and Border Patrol agents. Every year, about 1,000 trainees graduate from the academy before heading to the field. Before they get to Artesia, incoming trainees meet in El Paso and board a bus that takes them to the academy. I first decided to go to the Marines and you know, gain some experience and eventually come into law enforcement. I was in the Army. I had an urge to continue my, my career path. I just wanted something a little bit more different. So I did my research and Border Patrol was pretty much up that alley to what I was looking for. He must have been an 11 well, series. Symbol of excellence, a symbol of pride that people are willing to defend the United States of America in a very thankless, dangerous job. So those type of people deserve respect and I want to be one of those types of people. The Border Patrol says yes, sir. thousands more agents are needed in the field, but has historically struggled to recruit and retain them. Get out that boat! Get down! Get out! Oh, it's the shark attack. The shark attack. The shark attack. For the next few hours, the new class will experience entry on duty. Stop shaking already! Or EOD. Tom, get back here! Stop! Get back! What was that? Which forces trainees to follow basic commands under extreme psychological stress. You had one step to take, and you decided to take a shortcut. Louder than me! Yes, sir! You're not louder than me yet! Yes, sir! How are you going to arrest 20 people if you can't even speak loudly? They're going to be put under stress, and there's a reason behind that. Why? Why? They have to be able to think, they have to be able to receive instruction, they have to be able to make decisions, and then they have to be able to execute those decisions or actions under stress. You better get back over there with the rest now. of them! It's dirty! Hurry up! I appreciate your <laughs> sacrifice, their, their community <laughs> duty. However, Answer your voice. you are now a Border Patrol trainee and you're going to start getting indoctrinated into our world and get prepared for this profession. Yes, sir. Yes, shaking? sir. Why are you shaking? He's scared. And that's what's going to happen when he gets to the field. He's yeah. going to be scared. He ain't making it to the field. Going to be scared. Going to shake. You think that's going to look good? No, sir. You think the criminals are going to like that? No, They're sir. They're going to look at you and go, oh, I it. got him. He's mine. But we'll teach you. We'll teach you how not to be scared. You pump me up, drill sergeant. Last I check, sir, R does not come right before T and in between S. Am I wrong? Why are you staring at me? Huh? I don't know what he just said. Yes, sir. My two-year-old can take responsibility, sir. Fix yourself. Go find the S's. It sounds like it hurt for him to do that. Active he made my throat hurt just now. to observe EOD. But when an officer caught a group of them laughing and joking, they were quickly corrected. If that happens again, it will end. Day zero. Nothing's even started yet. No one's forced you to be here. You're welcome to leave anytime you like. Are you looking for a way out? No, sir. The way out is on the bus. You just decided to look at me. I feel like you're ready to quit tonight. You ready, sir? After this session, we I wonder how many people quit that, that night. Instructors were addressed about using language that encouraged trainees to quit even though it was part of the intended Oh, he looked like he ready to go. We're not trying to get people to quit. That's certainly not the intent. Our senior leadership uh, historically and, and now has been supportive of the fact that, uh, yes, absolutely, we need more agents out there on the line getting the job done, but that we don't need to lower our standards in order to- Don't do that. it, you don't do it. Away, sir. You, you make me nervous with that pen. Sir. Like you want to stab me with it. Sir. Do you want to stab me right no, now, sir? sir? See how far you get. The new trainees are issued uniforms. But the high stress levels endure. These uh, periods of stress inoculation are Look at their faces, the boy. High stress levels. It goes up, it goes down. Uh -huh. And these things subside. There you go. Good teamwork. Exactly what I want to see. Start working together. Help each other out. 
Do the right thing when nobody's looking. As the sun begins to Do the to right set, thing, do the right the thing, do the right thing. The tone from the instructors has obviously started to change. We will become brothers and sisters. Trust me when I'm telling you this. You will succeed if you listen to me. Everybody's got to work together as a team. Yes, sir. Join the Border Patrol. That's part of our family. You know? Start acting like you start helping each other out. Yes, sir. The only way you people are going to make it through this academy is by helping each other out. But if you don't help and take care of your classmates, you, all you won't make it and they won't make it. Yep. Do you understand? Yes, sir. It's a team don't effort around here. Home. No, sir. Then you better take care of each other. The Border Patrol Academy yeah. sits on 3,000 acres. Oh, hell no. Nah. Did that say rattlesnakes, bruh? Featuring life-size sectional replicas of border fences. Hell no. I don't do snakes. When the trainees graduate, that's why I took them out my circle. You feel me? Different certifications. Some learn inside the classroom, but most learned outside. Woo! And it all starts with fitness. Trainees spend 178 hours in the physical techniques department. Ooh, not the water. Field agents work on the water. Trainees also have to spend time in the pool, where they prepare to jump from high elevations using this, an apparatus known as Jacob's ladder, with a vertical drop of 30 feet. I'll tell y'all something. Jacob can stay his at. I mean, Jacob can stay his behind right where he at. Hell to the gnaw. Hell to the gnaw. Like my old AIT instructor used to tell me, trust and believe and believe and trust. Billy ain't doing that. It's a no for me. It's a no. Mm -mm. No, sir. No, sir. If these trainees appear a little uneasy, it's because they're about to experience perhaps the most dreaded part of training. What is that? They're going to the gas chamber. Hey! OC stands for oleoresin capsicum, more commonly known as pepper spray. Stand by. Woo! Woo! You've got to know how you're going to react if someone attacks Woo! you with the same thing. I have had one of my agents sprayed with that stuff by a murder suspect. They've got to know what it's going to do to them should it be used against us. Yeah. After being sprayed, Look over here. the trainees have to describe they fight. vehicles parked hundreds of yards away. Tell me how many cars oh, yeah, I failed this part for Car. sure. I can't even see right well, in front of me. Your eyes up in order to see. In order to see the suspect, you have to open your eyes up. Three. No, there's not. You have to open your eyes in order to see. Uh, <laughs> woo -hoo 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 -hoo. You're gonna have to fight through it. Two. All right. Five, one. Five. one. The trainee must then confront an assailant. Go to the Border Patrol. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Go to him. Get down on the ground. Detain him <coughs> and successfully call for backup. P.O. 17. Tango 30. Tango 35. 10-4. Back up. Come on, Roger. Finally. They're able to wash off the OC. Ooh! But the pain lingers. <coughs> yeah, that'll do it for you. So how do you feel now? You that'll do it for, for you. My face is on fire. <laughs> this is probably the, the <laughs> She like the Geico lizard. Now, not be able to see. I can't even see for the past 30, 45 minutes. Boy, he looked like the live action of Fred Flintstone. I think if we're putting our suspects out there through the same thing we're going through, we might as well feel what it feels like just to know how to use the actual tools properly. Backup's on the way. Backup! It's definitely torture, but it's a good kind of pain. One through six. Go, 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 go. Another major component of training is driving. I'm curious, would y'all make it through this type of training? Let me know in the comment section. Put it in the comment section. I feel like, honestly, I feel like I can make it through that training. But where I'm at in life right now, since I don't have to, it's a hell no. And that's just me being real with y'all. Like, I, I know for a fact I can do it. I can definitely do it. But do I really want to? Nope. So all respects. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 
I'm giving my respect to, to everyone that's out here that's a part of the Border Patrol. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing your thug dizzle. We have a green light. All vehicles are good. When they leave the academy, most of their day, they're going to be operating within a vehicle. That will be their office for the day. They may be out in the desert in some rough terrain. They may be called to pursue a vehicle at high rates of speed. Sir, get your hands out of your pockets. The students are- He didn't even sound confident scenario. saying that. That trains them I would have ran off on him. What to do after they perform an offensive driving technique. Trainees spend over 130 hours with the firearms department. Ooh, 130. While they're at the Border Patrol Academy, a single trainee will shoot 6,000 rounds of the pistol ammunition and about 10,000 rounds of the rifle. We start very slowly. We just initially give them a firearm and we say, okay, look at this weapon. Touch this weapon. There's no ammunition, there's no magazine. Let's take the weapon out of the holster. Let's start getting acclimated to how this weapon feels. And then we move on to the precision part. We fire the weapon and we see where the rounds go. So they're taking everything that we have taught them and they're now putting it together with movement. And that really is the culmination of everything that we're trying to do. Here. So everything goes together, I feel it. Make sure you guys can get to your magazine pouches. Make sure you can get to your pistol holster. Once the trainees learn how to use firearms, Face! they then learn when to use them. And more importantly, when not to. This exercise is known as judgment. Trainees face off with role players who may or may not be a threat. Freeze! Some role players are armed with weapons, others only with cell phones. The trainees have to make a split second decision of whether or not oh. to draw and fire. I wonder how many people will pass the that test. apply their skills in a variety of Too many trigger happy folks out here. Such Too as many. A hostage situation with an active shooter. Hands on the wall, feet apart. We get our learning objectives from what the field is telling us they need. In this scenario, trainees learn how to interdict a group of drug smugglers trying to cross illegally into the United States. Let's get her done quickly. We Get use our a done. lot of role playing, a lot of role players, both from the local area as well as detailed agents and instructors here at the academy assigned on a rotational basis. The hired role players play a huge part in perhaps the most important aspect of training at the academy. Now that part I can do. I can definitely do that part. Spanish. Your boy can, can act. Not really, but... Over 90% of the individuals that we arrest will only speak the Spanish language, or the Spanish language will be their first language. It's false. Sue Documento is false. Uh oh. We don't expect them to be fluent Spanish speakers, but we do expect them to at least be able to have a conversation to communicate with them efficiently and safely more than anything. That way they are able to safely do their job. Trainees spend Let me tell y'all something I'm not so proud about, all right? I took two years mandatory Spanish. Why the only thing I know how to say is El Baño? And I don't even know how to properly say that right. Two years. Mandatory high school. Can't even form a damn sentence. I'm embarrassed. I'm truly ashamed of that. I'm not going. I'm not even going. Yeah. 182 Stay in hours school, please. Stay in Spanish school. Pay attention. While that's the most time Jesus. spent in one specific department, it represents less than a fifth of their total curriculum, most of which is focused on law enforcement. Azul derecho. 
What we did not observe during our time in Artesia were any scenarios that specifically involved working in detention centers or caring for children, which is a daily responsibility of some Border Patrol agents working in the field. In regards to how trainees are instructed to work with children, the CBP spokesperson told Business Insider that the Border Patrol Academy trains and teaches agents about policies and regulations related to the current case precedent that governs children in short-term custody. We asked CBP what level of responsibility the Academy should bear in terms of preparing Border Patrol agents to deal with the current situation at many processing centers. They said, the Border Patrol Academy has implemented the Medical Emergency Decision Scenarios, or MEDS, into its curriculum. Donde le duele? El estomago. This is a medical response, so they have to approach the injured subject, they have to determine what is wrong with the injured subject, that way they are able to get the subject help as soon as possible. Oh snap, my birthday March 29th, this that's what's is up. This not a scenario. This footage was shot at the U.S.-Mexico border in El Paso. Uh oh where Border Patrol agents have to screen hundreds of migrants crossing into the U.S. every day and oversee crowded detention centers where the migrants wait for days and even weeks to be processed. So they're not being fed or... Oh, I thought, I thought they were shooting. I was about to say, what the... That's a graduation? As a new class prepares to graduate, are they ready for what awaits them in the field? On graduation day, friends and family make the trip to Artesia to see their loved ones before they're deployed. Honor Guard, return the colors. Close ranks. Out. Less than 100 years, and we have 128 line of duty deaths. That's more than one a year. That's too many. At the beginning of training, each trainee is issued a silent partner, one of the 128 Border Patrol agents killed in action. Oh, wow. Represented by a card that they carry with them at all times. This is what we're trying to change. The mistakes we've made in the field, things that we've done wrong. That's respectable. Hopefully nothing ever bad happens to one of your loved ones, but in the case that it does, you'll always be part of this Border Patrol family. That's a way to honor somebody, for sure. We're going to prepare that them is a way to honor day someone. One, how to take care of themselves, their partners, the people that they encounter. Treat them just like they would want a family member to be treated, and then go home to their families. Yeah. I want them to look back and say, every day I was willing to put my life on the line for this country, and I served admirably, and I made a difference in the protection of America. Meanwhile, oh, they got a new boot set. camp is just beginning yep. for Class 1120. A new set, That's I know the it. group we first met on the bus from El Paso, and we were. Who the hell did you just show me then? The message that Academy Chief Dan M. Harris been watching this whole time? delivered to the class on day one of their training. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, class. My name is Dan Harris, Jr., and I am the chief of this, the United States Border Patrol Academy. And there are a few things that I need to tell you that you need to hear directly from me. I promise you, you're going to have to take someone's freedom away. And you are going to get that right when you leave here. Let's hope you don't ever have to take someone's life away. But you're asking me to give you the authority to do both of those things. And let me be crystal clear. If you bring dishonor to the United States Border Patrol, if you bring dishonor to the uniform you are wearing, I'm going to fire you. Is that understood? Yes, sir! Every single class tells me that same thing. There are men and women out there on the street on patrol right now in the desert who need you as their backup. They need your help out there right now. Well, somebody I need gotta you to get graduate fired. from this academy. But again, nothing will be given to you. You got to earn it. Go on and let them know, sir. Go on and let them know. I wish the best of luck to all of you. Me and the too. next time I talk to you will be day 112. I'll see you then on your feet. Day 112?
right, y'all. So that was what new Border Patrol recruits go through at boot camp. Once again, this is uploaded by Business Insider. Shout out to them. You guys be sure to go subscribe to their channel. Um, yeah, so if you're thinking about joining the Border Patrol, that's what to expect. This was mine and your first time watching that. So hopefully you learned a little something. I did. Um, again, I said, like, I, I definitely feel like I can... I can I can pass that boot camp. I feel like I could, but do I want to? And will I? Hell no. Is the answer? Like I said before, it's it's a no for me. I'm gonna keep that for you know what I'm saying. I'll I'm gonna keep that for y'all folks and, and anyone that's been in or not in no more. Yep, I'm I'm better where I'm at right now. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, please this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see me react to next. Follow me on all my social media links are right there. Send me a message on any one of those, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Just give me some time, all right? I do have a Patreon link in the description, so feel free if you want to donate, help the channel out. No pressure, no worries though. I appreciate all you guys' love and support. Shout out to the So Crazy family. Shout out to the Crazy Pack. It is your boy Billy. You so crazy, and I see you on the next video, man. I'm out this thing.